Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint, and welcome back to a little- Oh my- Oh my god, I almost said VA11 Hall A, because I'm so used to saying VA11 Hall A. <laughs> welcome back to the final station. The final station is a game where we take a train across what's left of the world, because some sort of, like, second coming of... the devil, I don't know, has come up out of nowhere, and is turning people into shadow people, and our job is to go ahead and escort cargo to power up a guardian, which is supposed to help alleviate or fix the issue of the second visitation, which is what this new apocalypse is called. So, we've been learning a lot, there's a lot of story bits in here, regarding what the Electrum, the Guardian, the Propaganda, the Government, the Drain Driver here, some people's backgrounds. It's really interesting. We're learning a lot, like I said, and it's really cool, but now we're at a train stop of some sort of barn area. We're trying to- the fuck is that? Okay. What the fuck is that? We're trying to get to- oh god, the Metropole, I think? Yeah. Anyway, god, that is- that is very, very alarming. <laughs> no idea what that thing is, but it's creepy! Those are all Delta Conductors that we have. I don't know what you are building, but good luck anyways. Ingmund Electron. Appliance Store, First Circle, Metropole. Right. So, what am I gonna do about this thing here? Oh god, I can go inside. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is so creepy, I hate it. it. Looks like it's gonna eat me. And... A lot of what we've been running into are, I wouldn't say abandoned cities, they're cities that have been, like, overrun by shadow people. Everyone's dying, and for some reason, we're not dying. We did learn last episode talking to an old man who was around for the first visitation. This is the second visitation. We learned that these capsules that we've been finding... ...scattered about... ...are part of what causes the people to turn. So... ...what we do with that information is... ...maybe report it to somebody? We also learned that... That the people in the world not all react to the capsules the same way, but the capsules are definitely part of the reason why people are turning into shadow people, which is a pretty gosh darn big deal. We saw a couple of the capsules in earlier episodes. Maybe we'll run into one this episode, but I think it's kind of weird that we haven't turned at all. We're probably one of the people that act differently towards the capsules. These capsules apparently fell out of the sky and... I don't know what caused them to fall out of the sky. I don't know if it's some sort of alien work or what's going on, but we'll find out. That idiot who rented out our room upstairs stole two books. I'm going to get the police. I will not let this slip. Wow. These are the things you worry about? The dreams are recurring. My next goal is Ristol. I've heard an old man who saw the first contact lives there. If I can meet up with him, I'm sure he can help me move on. Now, there's been talk of trying to travel north, I think, to get to a canyon, or maybe it's south. Either way, there's been people talking about trying to get to a canyon. And I'm sure that that canyon's going to come up sooner rather than later in the story here, because... Oh boy. It kind of seems as though it's the main way that people are feeling that they'll be able to... Oh my god, what the... Why can I not... Oh, I'm pressing the shift key. It seems to be the main way that people think that they can go ahead and escape all the craziness that has happened here in the world. Duh! Duh! God, that hurts me from so far! Oh, God damn it, guy. Okay, let's go down here. Nothing. So again, I'm gonna fast forward into story parts here. We've been hitting them pretty quickly here, which is why I haven't been fast forwarding yet, but I'm gonna fast forward into story parts. And that way you guys can catch up on all the stuff that keeps this game super interesting and you don't have to see me sit here and battle everything. So, tell Jack that I'm not planning to lend him my car. I only have one and I worked my ass off to get it. Do they have taxis in Ristol? Don't they have taxis? I don't know. Got some scraps though! Okay, so, let's fast forward here. Can I go through this way? No. Ooh, I can. Okay, so... Hey! Here's one of the survivors. Hi, guy. Did you kill them? Yes. No. Two. Or, or three of them made it upstairs. Don't worry, I got him. Okay, I'll be waiting for you at the train. Perfect, we got another guy here. And the big reason why I really, 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 really like finding people is because it helps contribute to the story when we're on the plane. But hey, we just got our code to get onto the next train. Perfect. Can I go into the water? No, I cannot. 
So let's try to make our way back on over to the blocker station area. I think the blockers are just like... Ha! Are just these things that keep the train from taking up a, a straight ride all the way to where it wanna go. It's basically a little train stop. So, let's travel on back and... And see what we can learn from this new guy here, huh? That was rude and uncalled for and mean. Oh, there's somebody alive in here, thank God. Hi. Are you sure it's safe there? Can you guarantee it? I can guarantee it. You remember the- You remember the men's warehouse guy? You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. <laughs> okay, okay, we got another survivor. That's totally what I wanted to do. Was find someone, but it looked like they were bleeding. And seeing as how it looked like they were bleeding, I'm probably going to have to give them medical kits, which really sucks! Wait, what? What is this? Joe, it's done. Everything works. The council must let me work on the Guardian now. Huh. You can have my house. Sell it if you like. I'm going to the Metropole. Did I not see that before? Oh my god. Okay, well, I think we got just about everything we can get out of here. We saved a person. Caught up on a bunch of bits of story. And now, we're just gonna go back to our train here. With our blocker code that we have. Start her up, and hightail it on out of here. So, blocker code, here we go. 5533. Five, Boom. And then... My personal opinion, the most interesting part is when we're actually on the train here, because that's when so much of the story advances. <laughs> advances. Uh -huh. Tell me what you guys have been thinking of this game. I think it's amazing, I like it, I am super invested in the story, and it was a super creepy atmosphere straight from the get-go. Yep, sure enough, he's hurt. Damn it. Okay, so he's gonna die. And we got some- gonna get some hungry people here. Is he drunk? He might be drunk. He's been drinking a lot. How can one drink in such a situation? I feel like a lot of people could drink in such a situation. They'd figure it out. Okay, so let's get a medkit over here. And start healing him up, because he's gonna die otherwise on the train, and that'd be super awkward. <laughs> Why are you yelling here? Yeah, come on, be nice, guys. Great travel companion. Okay, so what are you? You're a developer. Beggars can't be choosers. You're a security guard. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just let these guys talk. Now to the shelter or to the metropole? I think we're going to the- going to the metropole, right? I'm thinking shelter. And there he goes bleeding again, god damn it! But I want to see the guardian. Okay, well you know what? Too damn bad! I'm gonna have to be careful with him, this guy right here. I'd like to see him too. I can't start him without the central processor and the power core, which is what we have here. And he knows that because he is a military guy. What, so they decided to create this central processor? I know, you're hungry, you're hungry. I think it's just an electric brain, why not call it that? Call it whatever you like, but it was a stupid idea. Why was it a stupid idea? I think it's too late to change anything. Might be. I don't know. Okay, I think we gotta start feeding people here, though. We're running a little low on food. We can have a max of ten food now, though. Which is interesting. Before we could have a max of five, we gotta feed him, too. Otherwise, he's gonna get real complainy. Okay. Now, we got something that we can go read over here, so let's go do that. What? Tim, what's up, Tim? Tim, are you there? I gotta be careful with this guy, too. Did you switch my route? Tim! What the- Tim! Did you switch my route, Tim? Oh, God. Okay, bring this to him before he dies, before he dies, before he dies. Okay, he's fine. We arrived. Let's go. My route got switched. What? What the hell is that all about, Tim? God, where the hell am I? Oh god, this is way too creepy for me. Oh, it's super dark and- oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, it's being all creepy again. I was just starting to get used to it. Oh boy. Oh boy. The fuck is that noise? Oh my god. Time to turn up my volume a little bit and get really spoopy. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're all the best doing what's happening through here. CB! Where are you, CB? Josh, I wanted to warn you, there are rumors that there will be an inspection next month. Hopefully the... Ventilation problems- The VENTILATION PROBLEMS! What do you mean, ventilation problems? We got food and a med kit, which is things that we both very much so need. Huh! Especially... I'll take the toilet. Especially... With Mr. Bleedy Face, who's been on our... Uh, who's been on our plant here. So let's go this way, with our toilet. Oh, I don't want to throw my toilet. Oh, God, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. Why did I do that? Okay, let's keep going through here. This is really creepy. I kind of am super terrified right now. Hello? Oh, God. I feel like 
Anywhere I go, I'm just about to get attacked. Okay, I, there's a reason why they gave me this box. Yep, this douche. Okay, I got him under control. Boof. Okay. Anything in here? Ooh, we got another note. Henry, we received information that there will be a station inspection in two weeks. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be a bunch of those notes flying around. Hey, I got some food! Definitely need food. There's a lot of hungry people on the train right now. Are you okay? What? How are we moving? Huh. No, I don't need to go to Metropole. That's it? You're just chilling here? What? You shitting me, Stan? Is he gonna turn? Why is his eyes so glowy? I wonder if I can bring one to him and what would happen? No, I cannot. Oh god, man. Ugh, it's so creepy. What are they doing? I feel like he's gonna turn. <laughs> listen, I understand. I really do, but I earn a lot of money here. You never listen to me! Look, I need to just get through the week with the inspection. Okay. So, I don't know if that's like somebody... A loved one at home saying, come home, come on, you're always at work. And he's like, nope, sorry, I gotta get my work on. Right down here. Oh boy, we got people down here, okay. It's fine. Got an idea. Huh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Man, this is such a creepy freaking atmosphere, man. I hate it, but I love it, oh my god. We can go to- I don't get what's moving in the background, though. That's really tripping me out. We're getting a ton of food, though. And a ton of money. Before I go down too deep here, there's a couple more places back here. I don't want to get into a place in where I can't return, you know what I mean? And I would not be surprised if we run into a couple of those as we play through our game here. So is there a door over here? No, there was not. But I do think that there was a couple of, yeah, ladders down here, which- OH MY GOD, OKAY! Woo! Let me think about that, guys. Jesus Christ! I want to get down here because I guarantee you there's some juicy bit of story, which is going to be really cool to read. Ooh, and there's the old books, and I got some- yeah, I got some medkit over here, too, and some shotgun ammo. Yes, some ma'am! Okay, what was down here? Just some loot? Oh, god damn! Totally thought there was gonna be something cool down here in bits of story. Oh, well. No biggie, I got some cool loots, man. Okay, let's see what's down here. We got an explodey thing over here, which might help us get through something. I don't know. I don't know if there's gonna be, like, any sort of utility... ...for the explosives, or if they're really just there to make it easier to clear out monsters. Bob, as I've already mentioned, there will be an inspection in two days. Ah, the ventilation thing again! Okay. Maybe I can blow through this wall over here? I don't know. Well, he's dead. God damn it, Bob. Did you not get the ventilation fixed, Bob? Everybody in the comments. God damn it, Bob. What is this? Do not forget to put a lock on the door. People will need passes to get to the warehouse. Ooh, I wonder if they did. Yeah, oh, you forgot to put a lock on the door. <laughs> oh, what? Whoa! Why are there two moons? Has there always been two moons? Where the hell am I, by the way? Oh boy. Oh boy. That feels a little. Is this. Oh, oh no, 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 don't heal, don't. Oh, you heal. Oh, I didn't want to heal. Oh, I got another med kit, I guess, but I did not want to heal there. God damn it. Total waste. Let's keep looking around through here. I oh, oh, hi! You okay? Oh, God! What? Please be quick. Okay, yeah, I'll be quick. What, what do you want me to be quick with, guy? <laughs> well, we didn't even get a blocker's code yet, so we still gotta go find something to get ourselves on out of here, right? Anybody in here? Nothing. Oh, here's the code. Perfect. Lisa, just so you know, I've been fired... Well, I've been fired. The inspection found 54 <laughs> violations. <laughs> I haven't actually received an official dismissal yet, but I'm not waiting around for it. I'm getting the first train on out of here, and they can all go to hell. 4678 for David Cartwright. Okay. Well. That was a nice little... Little rescue mission we got going on here. Not too much in terms of story yet. It's really interesting to see some of the side stories. I... I'm hoping that I am aware enough to go ahead and see how everything connects later down the road. Because I'm sure some of these side bits are gonna... Either show up or become a main part of the story later. I don't know. Okay, so we've cleared a lot of this out. So I think we're good to go on the train again, right? Let's do it. This was definitely creepy, but 
we got everything we needed. We got a survivor. We got some supplies. We're doing okay. So, let's advance onward. Hmm. We do know that Tim changed our route, that son of a bitch. And now, I don't really know where we're headed. I don't know why Tim would change the route. Because assuming that this core is meant for the Guardian, the Guardian's good for everyone, right? Oh, are you bleeding too? Oh, what a bastard. Okay, so what are you? You're a driver? Oh god. Way too many bloody people here, man. Okay, who's all hungry? Okay, now there's a lot of people talking here. And I need to make sure I keep this all put together here. But I want to see what they're all saying. I don't like this, there shouldn't be a tunnel here, right? Could we have taken a wrong turn? Yeah, we definitely took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Okay, so we gotta- we gotta start healing some of these guys up. So that does help heal him up substantially though, and it stopped his bleeding. We get a lot for him. Maybe it's some sort of secret military bunker. I don't know. Might be. No. Oh yeah, he would know because he's classified, right? Looks like it to me. I can assure you there are no military facilities around here. Whatever, guy. Whatever you lying, son of a bitch. It's too close to the first visitation zone. Oh, so maybe he does know. So there's no what? There's nothing here at all. I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, who built the dam? Okay, so we gotta- Oh god, I forgot about this. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. You're fine, ventilation's fine, don't worry, you're not gonna die. Okay, that guy- that one guy might die if I don't get to this to him, like, right now. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, oh my god. Okay. Why are you injured? No one's talking anymore? Oh, this is so stressful. Do I need to feed this guy? I don't know. The met the guy who's like bleeding out of the head. How close are we? I have no idea where we are. Oh my god. Okay, so we're just gonna feed him because I have no idea where we are. Oh my god, I fed him for nothing! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I have no idea where the hell we are right now. No idea where the hell we are right now. Oh my god. What the hell is even over here? Let's go take a peek here. If there's nothing to a oh my god. What the fuck is this? spared the more we can use what the fuck is this armand they perfectly understand this oh hello i told you we'd see each other soon how did he get here this place is this is because of the train i told you about would you like a drink? I have some left. Train. He's carrying the crystal. Why can't we get him now? We cannot interfere now, it's too early. What the hell are you guys talking about? Ah uh, yes, you're on duty, I forgot. What? Smart one. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha. This won't change anything, Conductor. Armand, I better get back to business. Yes, of course. What the fuck was that? And how the hell am I gonna move my train? Can I walk around this? I need a code, don't I? Or did I just feel like stopping? I'm really confused right now. No idea what's going on. And why is there- Oh my god, there's a code here. 
farewell gift. P.S. You still have time. 4433. Okay, guys. We're gonna have to end this episode here. If you guys want to see more, make sure you leave a like. That way I can tell you guys want to see more of the final station. But what the fuck was all that that just happened in there? It's getting so weird, man. It's getting so creepy. And like... Oh, God. I don't trust anything. I'm starting to feel like I'm a man on a mission, but like... Not the same mission that they want me to be on. Like... I'm on a more noble mission. <laughs> this all feels so weird. But I also feel like I'm sort of like forced into this, otherwise I'll be murdered. I don't know, man. I hope you guys have been enjoying the final station. I like it a lot. Definitely creepy. Definitely interesting. The story has me hooked though. Which, I don't know, I was really expecting. Like, I knew it was gonna be creepy, but the story has been, by far, in my opinion, the strongest part of this game. Huh. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And if you want to see more. So, thank you guys so much for watching this part of the final station. You guys are amazing. I love you, and I will see you guys Meow. in the next video that we do around here. Meow. Hello, everyone. My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to Batman by Telltale Games. I am so excited to play this for more reasons than I was even expecting. So, we're going to get straight into it here because you guys know I love Telltale Games. I am also a fan of Batman. But I want to show you guys two things real quick before we get straight into it. The extras, one thing that...